I am the Foxcatcher, David Toro, and you are watching HCW. Fans to HGW TV, I'm your host Pete Crockett, and this week we bring you Wire Forest title action as the Mocho Man Chris Cage defends his title against the young upstart, the Pharaoh of Facebook, the Wizard of WhatsApp, the Twit of Twitter, reborn Josh Andrews, in what is set to be a hellacious bout. Catch HGW on Saturday the 23rd of July at the Wagon and Horses in Kidderminster and then rounding off the month on the 30th at Park Tavern in Hales Owen. For months reborn Josh Andrews has been wearing out his mobile phone keypad as he continually berates the Wire Forest champ Chris Cage. Staging he's purposefully dodging his challenges by claiming to be injured. Now, whilst the Mocho Man avoids a majority of social media, young Josh's messages haven't fallen on deaf ears, as the majority of the HGW locker room, quite sick of this childish behaviour, quite willingly informed Chris Cage of these inane ramblings. And, as one might expect, the bearded Batman wasn't best pleased with the accusations being directed towards him, questioning his integrity as well as his credibility as champion. Now let's get you over to the Catchatorium to see how the Mocho Man is going to take out his anger on reborn Josh Andrews. Let's commence some catch. Oh well, Josh Andrews not starting there, uh, he's uh, once getting his start he's straight away. A lot of pent up frustration between these two. New champion here! <laughs> oh! Josh Andrews just spinning on the belt. And said these two have been going back and forth on, well, I say going back and forth on social media. Josh Andrews has been using Facebook a lot to, uh, to vilify the Mocho Man. It's called education. When you're ready, Mr. Timekeeper. Let's commence some catch. Too much time on Facebook. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a proper teenager. Yeah, 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 all day. Uh huh. Yeah, tissues next to the bed. Oh! Just traded twice and left here, these two. Chris Gay not happy with the way that Josh Andrews has been uh, carrying himself as of late, and these two just broken down into a brawl now. First off the stage, as the Mojo Man's taking him for a walk. <laughs> Just introducing Josh Andrews to the piano there. Oh, straight into the bar. Mr. X being very lenient here with the uh, 
with the tank. <laughs> with the tank out. Oh! Straight into the cage! Straight into the merchandise. Merchandise is available. Oh, I'm just breaking that hand straight across his head. And now dealing with him like a teenager should be. And now in the ring, the Moke Show Man. Josh Andrews just exposed that top turnbuckle there. Oh, goes for us. Oh, and a stiff clothesline. Nice bits of reversals with these two. The Mojo Man showing Josh Andrews how to work. He's seen this before. Delayed vertical seamer. Oh! Brings him down, Brainbuster style. Oh, and then just dropping a leg right across the throat. And he's passing it to T back pin. Body slam. Oh, just delayed elbow drop there. Just teasing Josh Andrews. And again. Again, Josh Andrews just getting his shoulder up. No love lost between these two whatsoever. No respect at all. Oh! Josh Andrews moving out of the way, Cage goes shoulder first, in that way, oh! Taken down the hard way, right on that mat. And Josh Andrews just dropping all of that eight stone weight right over the bicep of, uh, of Chris Cage. Size of Josh Andrews' legs. Oh, just ripping it ahead there to take down the Mocho Man. That's not going to do him any favours at all. And just snapping at that wrist, all that tension on that bicep. Stiff kick right to that tricep. his way over that arm, trying to loosen up that, uh, that tricep and that shoulder, make it hard to kick out and there's a stiff kick right to the back. The Mocho Man, Josh Andrews, give it up for Josh Andrews, he's gaining a lot more uh, offense than I thought he would in this match. He's a veteran of this sport, self-proclaimed best worker in HCW and he's showing it why now. Now, now working on the, trying to snap that arm. Now they said those arms are the size of his legs. He's going to have to use and muster up a lot of strength to, uh, to damage those arms of the Mocho Man, Chris Cage. Now Cage just sends him off the ropes. Waiting for a job kick, Cage had that scouted. Are we going to see it? The cage spin. Oh! Just released the hard way. I think I was instinct there. Josh Andrews managed to get his shoulder up. 
spun him so much his, uh, his tights nearly com came off completely there. Something that I don't think anyone wants to see. Oh, and again, just driving Kay's shoulder first back into that uh, into that corner. Oh, big splash in the corner there. I think he caught some of his nose. Goes for that pounded uh, snap there. We know what's coming next. Cage, be careful of his nose. Oh, drop kick right to the spine. Cage getting his shoulder up. Josh Andrews calling as he tuning up the band. Oh, the super kick there from Josh Andrews. Call Cage unawares. Josh Andrews, what's he what's he doing now? Josh Andrews is taking his own video on himself, I think. Oh, what a huge TK Joe! Well, ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, and still Wire Forest champion, the Mocho Man, Chris. Book HCW for your venue or event by emailing at hcwlive at yahoo.com or via our Facebook page and website. Complete disrespect from Josh Andrews at the start of that match as he spits on the title and throws it to the ground as though it was August 27th of 1994. And Chris Cage dishing out some well-deserved justice, retaining his title in dominating fashion. However, Cage's victory was very short-lived. What's going on? Two, two members of Team Apocalypse have just entered the ring. Oh! Oh, baking tray right to the back. What are the... Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Cage is meant to be in the cage match later on to defend his six-man titles. And Team Apocalypse now just seems to be coming out and uh, doing a number over on Cage. Sent that shoulder, Josh Andrews. We did a number on that shoulder earlier on, and these two now just hyper extending that shoulder, nearly dis potential dislocation. That shoulder hanging out over the top rope. <laughs> Team Apocalypse doing all they can to get the upper hand in their upcoming six man match. It's not going to be six man anymore because I believe the Macho Man is out of it now. Team Apocalypse, we're going to win against Team HCW. Definitely done a number on these two. Team Apocalypse with a savage beatdown on the Mocho Man. And this now leaves Cage's status in doubt for next week's huge matchup for the HCW six man tag titles. As Apocalypse is set to take on the champions Chris Cage and the fabulous Express of Johnny Rose and Turbo Tommy Davis inside a steel cage. For everything HEW, find us on Facebook at HEW Championship Wrestling, on our website at www.hewwrestling.com, and on YouTube at HEW Wrestling UK. Now, last week not only saw a new HEW TV champion crowned in Turbo Tommy Davis, the former champion fox catcher David Toro now has to serve as Tommy's butler for the next 100 days. Thankfully, HEW cameras were on the scene at 6am the following morning to capture Foxy reporting for duty. Ugh. Absolutely ghastly place. It's no wonder that Tommy Turbo lives in a place like this. Houses next to each other, joined together. Ooh. Look at it all. Ooh. Never seen such a 
It's disgusting. Ooh, vile state. What on earth? What on earth? What who? Who in the world would live in a place like this with houses like such so, such as this in like close proximity? Vermin everywhere. Disgusting. Disgusting smell. Commoners, all of them, everywhere. Houses such as these. Yeah. Ugh, dead wasp. No, it was alive. No, away from me. And you. Vagabond, fluffy, disgusting, filthy little vermin. Dirty little pussy. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Well, this is definitely the kind of place that I expect Tommy Turbo to be. And uh, I'll get out of my way, you. Oh, fox catcher. I'm glad to see you made it here this fine day. So, yeah. how is your day today? Not very well, thank you, Tommy Turbo. Not very good at all, considering I have come to this humble abode of yours, and, well, I dare say it's not right to call it a humble abode. It's more logical to call it an absolute state and disgusting affairs of, 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 of living acquaintanceness. So, yes, I'm not very well, thank you, considering I have to do all this. Well, I'm glad that you feel that way. Now, before we begin, this is for you. A little present. What is it? Have a look and see for yourself. What on earth? You tried to dress me up like an elf or something, Tommy Turbo? Oh no, I don't need to worry about that. You already look like that as it is. I just thought that it would, you know, since you seem so prim and proper, You'd want her to uh, be careful with some of the work I'm going to be give it, giving you today. Oh, for heaven's sake. What? No, I don't want to wear this. I'm not wearing this. Come on, chop chop, get to it. You knew the agreement. You agreed to it. Oh, I don't... I'm not wearing this. It's going to make me look like a common bloody bin man. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Yes, I'm not a bin man. I'm a man <laughs> of stature and quality. Well, I'm afraid that's too bad. Because today, you're going to be doing what I say, when I say, and you're going to smile about it. Understand? Well, I'm definitely not pleased with this. This wasn't in the agreement to wear disgusting filth such as this. Well, if you're done complaining, I'll meet you around the back. Fine, let's get this over with, Tommy Turbo. Thank you, Mr. Tavo. Right this way, please. Right. So your first task for today is to cut the grass. Really? Cut yes. the grass? It's a simple task. Surely a man of your caliper can do it. I don't cut the grass. No, you cut have the your grass. To do that, don't you? How dare you ask me to cut the grass? What a kind of request is that? It's a simple request. I thought someone with the talent that you have could easily do it. Fine, 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 fine. Let's get this over with. Is this it, yes? You want me to use this to cut the grass, do you, Tommy Turbo? Um, no, actually, Foxcatcher. I said, um, cut the grass. Well, chop chop, we haven't got all day. What do you mean? I'm not using this to cut the grass. It'll take me forever. Well then, that's just going to give you motivation to work harder, isn't it? Snip, 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 snip. Come on, the day's passing by. For heaven's sake, why don't you just let me use the lawnmower? Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, 
Well, I must say, Foxcatcher, you've certainly done a good job here. Right then. Off to the tip with you. What? Well, these bags aren't going to go anywhere themselves, are they? They need to go to the tip. <sighs> Come on. The day is still young. Fine, fine, fine. <sighs> Damn you, Tommy Turbo! <laughs> Looks like Foxy's got his work cut out for him and hopefully Turbo Tommy Davis doesn't go too easy on the former champion. Now join us next week as we bring you HGW's six-man tag team title action from inside a steel cage and hopefully the Mojo Man Chris Cage will be fit and able to participate or as a team apocalypse done enough to weaken the champions. For Pete Crockett Promotions I've been Pete Crockett. Till next time, catch fans.